right, thanks for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a little different. Um, certain times of the year, the fish just kind of key in on crawdads, and that, that's what happened on this day. Um, also had a little difficulty. It's just one of those days where things go wrong, and uh, I'm not afraid to laugh at myself, so I left the footage in, but uh, stay tuned. Uh, you get to see me fall in the boat. Uh, unfortunately, I've got some health uh, issues uh, that affect my balance, and uh, this would be the third time I've fallen in the boat here in the last month or month or two. Um, banged my knee up pretty good, uh, still sore, my back hurts. I mean, I you know, it's no fun getting old. Um, but anyway, stay tuned. I'm gonna come back in, explain what happened, uh, and talk to you a little bit about what what we were doing, but uh, stay tuned. Didn't get him. There, I got him. Oh! Didn't get him anyway. Dang it. <clears throat> what, you hit it? Yeah, with my, my rod. That, that's two I've had hit and didn't get. All right, Zane. I think they're just not very active. I heard on the radio that it's supposed to be a lot less humid today. You get him? Yeah. A little set. Oh, no. It a little you got a bluegill. No, it is a spot. Look at that. <laughs> Zane, that, what is that? A four incher? Unbelievable. Um, here, I gotta hold that up. <laughs> Look at that monster. <laughs> Jeez. We're bad mouth in the crankbait. Oh, Ooh. Big old large mouth Ooh, a guy. Ooh, it is a monster. It's a monster. Boy, Zane, that that might be a. I mean, that's Boy, probably a. Skinny. That's probably a five at least. Nice. That's a big old giant head. Good Lord, look at the head. Yeah, that's a nice one. Nice large mouth. A little dinky bait for that big old freaking large mouth. Yeah, but if they're eating crawdads, they're. But they're all, they're going to be on the point, saying we, we probably should just pick up and go to the next point. All right, so on this next clip, I contemplated just not taking, you know, not leaving it in. But uh, one thing you'll get when you watch my videos is a realistic view of what happens during the day. And some days things just happen. Um, so I had hooked a fish and I reached down to, you know, my, my camera's on a tripod in front of me and I reached to adjust the angle of the camera and I lost my balance and I went down like a sack of potatoes. Um, fell right into my tripod, broke it, um, and I actually ended up messing up uh, my microphone system that's attached to the camera and I have these little mics on my that I wear and anyway the eventually the audio goes out as well uh, my, my you know my ego is a little bruised it's a little embarrassing but you know it is what it is um, I, I took a header and fell right into my tripod 
broke it. Um, anyway, stay tuned. We'll watch this. Feel free to laugh. I know I did. Oh! Oh! Zane, uh, I still got the fish. <laughs> uh, you broke your freaking tripod. Did I? Yep. I think I might have broke my leg too. <laughs> Here. Uh, you sure you got the fish? He jumped and threw it. Are you kidding me? Ooh, geez, I broke it all the all the way, didn't I? God. <laughs> What, did you lose your balance? I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's in my leg. Oh. God, uh. Uh. Oh, it's broken too. That's great. Great. I mean, all it's got to do is pop back in there. That helps that. Uh, Zane, I'm getting sick and tired of not even being able to freaking stand up. Did I lose my... No, I think you're good. Nothing went in the water. Was it a good one? It was a decent fish. It... Oh, boy. I don't even know what, it, what, what happened. I don't even know. You lost your <sighs> Did it get you out from the boat? Oh, boy, Zane. Oh, Well, I got it all on camera. I know that. Nobody likes seeing that. Zane, it's embarrassing. I, don't... I still don't have a fish. You haven't caught a fish? Oh, I guess I did catch one. Little dinky. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into this point here. Oh, there he is. Monster. Another monster. I think this is probably what we're missing right here. Oh, look what he's spitting up. I don't know, mine didn't fill that bag. Well, the one I had on was bigger than this. Monster. You like keeping your rod set down or oh yeah, I keep mine down. I want it to dig. I don't want it up. Oh, there he is. And I turn my camera off. What? What an idiot. Yeah, it's a nice one. That's a good one. Uh, and we got... I need those fish grippers. I... Yeah, I mean, you know... <clears throat> I don't just reel it straight. I vary my my, my ret retrieve. All right, another decent fish. So we are throwing Spro rock crawlers today. Certain times of the year, the fish start to key in on crawdads. And right now, uh, that seems to be what's, what's happening. Good one. 
Oh yeah, it is. Boy, he hammered that Dana. Man, get your pliers. <laughs> You're gonna end up with another hook in your finger. Yeah, it's a nice one. Good fish. Yes, it is. Look at the belly on them. Yeah, nice one. Ooh, it's another nice one. That's what. That's the best thing to do. Just flip them up. Spit up a. He spit up a bluegill. Where'd that wave come from? Are these... <laughs> my, my balance ain't much better. Yeah, that's a nice little fatty. So we're just looking for points and, and rocks. The, they sure seem to have kind of switched to keying in on crawdads. Because we've caught quite a few. I, I've, unfortunately, I've got some health stuff that has affected my balance so I took a header uh, I'll, I'll, depending on how terrible the film looks I might just leave it in <laughs> but I caught a fish and then I uh, took a spill so I didn't get that on film or at least not the fish and that will mark the third time I've fallen in the boat the last couple of months Zane, I stopped it, and he hit it. I mean, it's it's a large mouth, so. skinny largemouth or actually Zane that's a spot isn't it yeah and look at Zane he's got the orange eyeballs huh. he's not looking very good Ooh. Ooh. so I banged up my knee pretty good taking a spill oh there's another him it was a good one too yeah so one thing I don't like about crankbaits they can they can throw them that was my best fish of the day right there so I'm throwing the chartreuse one he's got a completely different color I think his is PB and J so I don't think as long as it's a crawdad color I don't think it really matters right now well, I should have had that. Should have had two right there. That was a decent fish. I don't. I still don't know. You know, if you get a treble hook in your hand, it ain't coming out that easy. So every time you come out, there's a different pattern, and the, the crawd, you know, the crankbait sure seems to be the key today. We've had quite a few bites, and there's a couple of fish that are not on film because I was too busy falling down. Boy, I got to be careful because you know, my balance is terrible, terrible. So I fell head first into my tripod that holds my camera and I broke my tripod. We just got it barely holding together. Got it. Oh boy, Zane. Yeah. He's a jumper. Yeah, he hit right out of it. Well, it was in his mouth until he jumped. Yeah, he almost 
Freaking. Yeah, I'm lucky I landed him. Ah, that's a nice, not a bad fish. On the old crankbait. I'm telling you, this side is always better for the crank. Oh yeah. It's another nice one. I stopped it because I was, you know, on that, uh, the tree limb. That's another nice one. Yep. Yeah. Two pounder. All right, for this uh, next couple of fish, the audio goes out on my micro on my uh, camera. Uh, not sure what happened. When I fell and hit the tripod, I must have messed something up. Uh, I'm leaving it in though because there's some nice fish, and I wanted you to see how effective this crankbait can be at times. Um, I'm not a big crankbait guy. It, is, it hurts my hand. Uh, I've got some arthritis from holding a fishing rod so much and getting old. Uh, just the resistance from cranking a crankbait all day just, just, I mean, it just kills me. It hurts. But anyway, I'll do it when I have to, and it, it really worked on this day. Okay, so bear with me here. I'm limited on equipment, especially with me falling and breaking on it, but I'm going to try to do a voiceover for this video I hooked a nice one here um, probably my biggest fish of the day up to that point anyway and you can see behind me there's a point I had the wind blowing in on this point and uh, that that was kind of the key on this day that these fish, you know, we tried top water, didn't catch. We, my brother caught a couple of small ones, uh, but they were just keying in on crawdads. And let's make another cast just right down from where I just caught that one. I hooked another one, just two in a row. Now this, you see some docks here, but I, the the point was the key, not the docks. This, I, I didn't really catch the fish under the dock. It was in between docks. And it was another nice one. Another nice spot, nice chunky spot. And here I hook another one. This is three in a row going down this little stretch off of this point. And it was another nice one. These were all three nice fish. And of course, the hook comes out, gets me in the finger. Just, you know, just one of those days. Nice fish, though. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Um, just one of those days. Uh, that, that would be the third time I've fallen in the boat in the last couple of months. Uh, unfortunately, um, my just, I am just, my balance is shot. Uh, I've got some health issues I'm dealing with and, uh, it is what it is. So if you hear me breathing hard, that's, that's because I've got a, you know, an issue with one of my lungs and, uh, you know, I fall down quite a bit, unfortunately. So, um, Thanks for watching. I got to figure out what to do about my microphone system now. Um, everything costs money, but I'll, I'll get it figured out. Stay tuned. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time.